Hello viewers, welcome back again. This is your CID teacher, Roger Pichira. Ready to take you through unit of believers, a CID topic, form three. Welcome all and let us learn. Now, <clears throat> just to take you back to learners, what we have been discussing, we have been looking at the symbolic expressions of the unity of believers. Right? We did talk about uh, the bride, right? The church, the assembly of God, the vine and branches, the people of God. Now, today we get to look at causes of disunity in the early church. What causes disunity? What causes disunity in the early church? And in this case, yeah, we are going to refer to Paul. Good. What do you expect by the end of the lesson class? We do expect that we are able to discuss the causes of disunity. In the church, in the early, in the early church, welcome all, and let us learn. Now, what are some of these causes? Now, remember, or rather, let us note that the early church experienced some challenges, same as our today church. We always experience challenges in church, right? Same as the early church, it experienced, uh, it, it it had challenges, which led to divisions among the early disciples and Christians. These divisions caused, caused, caused division among the early Christians and also the disciples, right? One, let us first get a look at the first, um, the first, um, the first dispute. Can you get to look at First uh, Corinthians, chapter one? That is a uh, First Corinthians chapter one, verse ten to twenty-one. Now a dispute arose, a dispute arose among early Christians. Now they were concerning it was concerning leadership. The first the first dispute was concerning leadership, right? Christians wanted different leaders. For example, there are those who are saying I'm for Paul, others were saying I'm for Apollos, right? Others are saying they are for uh, Theophas, others were saying they were Christ. But what does Paul tell them? Right? What does what does Paul tell them? Right? Paul tells them that. Christ could not be divided, just as Christ is not divided, right? Why are you dividing yourselves? Why are you people claiming that you, you, you belong to Paul? Why others are claiming that they belong to, they, they, they belong to Apollos? Why are, are, are others claiming that they, they belong to uh, Cephas and others to Christ? You must remain united, just as Christ was united. Christ was never divided. That's what Paul told them. You must remain united, just as Christ. Let's get a look at the second cause of this unity. There was sexual immorality. Right? Sexual immorality. This was caused, this caused this unity in the early church. Some Christians were doing or were having irresponsible sexual behaviors. Talk of incest. Right? Talk of fornication. Talk of prostitution. There was prostitution in church. Incest in church. Talk of uh, idolatry. No, not idolatry, but adultery. Right? So Paul condemned such behaviors and told Christians to stop sinning and honor their body. Remember, your body is a body of God. Right? Body of, you, mean, you must maintain, keep your body pure. You must maintain pure. Right? Now, the body of Christ is the temple. Your temple, your body is a temple of God. Remember, when we're looking at the symbolic expressions of the church, uh, of, of, uh, of the unit of believers, we say the church, we are the body, the assembly of God. We are the church. Now that our body is a church, we need to maintain it pure. It should be, it should be pure. We should not practice this sexual immorality that was, called, was practiced in, in the early church. That caused, that caused disunity. Let's get a look at another cause of disunity in the church also. Christian settling disputes in civil courts, right? Wherever an issue arises, they could rush to court. Wherever an issue arises, they could rush to court. No. Paul advised they ought to talk uh, over issues among themselves and agree to solve problems on their own. That's what Paul advised. Can you try solving the dispute among yourself? If it is beyond yourself, go to, go to someone else, right? If it's beyond that, go to a church leader. Right? If it's among that, go to a spiritual leader. 
if it is past that now go to court now paul uh, outlined various various channels of solving disputes then there was a dispute over marriage and divorce some christians were opposed to marriage right others were encouraging divorce paul advised them this it is okay to marry and not to marry if you decide to marry well and good if you if, if you said uh, to to not to marry it's still good paul told them you can serve the lord while you are celibate or because her bodies have emotions right you can also opt to to marry that's what paul uh, uh, teaches in the in the book of corinthians that is a um, uh, first corinthians uh, 1 to 16 good then the talk of the eating the the, the the food meant for idols right remember they could offer sacrifices right now they were arguing that 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 that's animal we are giving for sacrifice is it good for us to eat it right now they were there were issues issues arose, arose from them people were eating those food meant for idols and others were not eating it then there was dispute in the way of dressing for example are women allowed when they're going to the altar the synagogue on the uh, at, at the altar are they allowed are, are, are they allowed to dress right should should, should they for, should they should they um should they should they cover their heads that's what you see today in church a number of churches ladies cannot go to the altar without covering their heads right should women shave their hair should men have long hair this was a bone of contention that caused, caused disunity. I think also class, because of time also, we have got some other disputes, right? During your free time, you can go through them, right? They show over, over drinking during the Holy Communion. Remember, the Holy Communion was made of wine. When they are celebrating the Holy Communion, they would over drink. So those are other, other causes of dis disunity. But because of time, you can get to look at them. They are on your screen. You can go them through them one by one for a task. Who founded the church in Corinth? Who founded the church in Corinth? For a reference, get to refer to a reference um, a material on our screen. And as always, this is a Link TV, your favorite learning channel. Thank you all for participating and thank you all for watching our lesson. And see you in the next class.